Hallelujah. It's so warm. Amen. Let's get our Bibles. We're going to Luke chapter 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 7. Amen. And I'm praying that your hearts are open. Amen. And that you're ready to hear what the Lord has to say. I love this area. This church. Amen. Amen. I love where y'all are. So when y'all do the street service, please call and let us come. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean that. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Sure word to tell you. Amen. This is what I like. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I thank God. I appreciate the Lord. Amen. I love. Amen. Souls. Hallelujah. Amen. And somebody had to preach to us for us to be saved. That's right. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to get out here and preach on the streets. Amen. And we do. Amen. But when y'all go, we want to come with y'all too. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just so that God, amen, can bring somebody to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. For such a time as this. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. We're going to Luke chapter 7. Amen. And I'm, I'm just going to read a few verses. Hallelujah to you guys. Amen. We're going to read a couple of verses. Amen. 7. And we're going to look at... Amen. Let's start at... Verse 36 and read down to verse 39, 38, 36 through 38, amen. Amen. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat, sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment, and stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with ointment. Okay, go ahead and read 39. Now when the Pharisee, which had been with him, saw it, he spake unto himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. Amen. And so I'm not going to talk about her and her alabaster box. You don't know what it calls. I'm like, oh, no, we ain't going there. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're not going to deal with that. Amen. I want to deal with the fact that this woman who was already a sinner came into the midst of a house of people. Amen. And she let her hair down. Come on now. Hallelujah. She let her hair down. And so God was dealing with me, amen, about us, amen, and the state that we are in as a church, amen, and as we are as a body of believers, about us being in the position where we let down our hair. Amen. And I know that, you know what I'm saying, there's a story, I don't know who wrote it, but somebody wrote a story about Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Amen. We're not talking about so that somebody can climb up and get into no tower and go hang out with you. Amen. We're talking about, amen, to the degree, amen, that this woman, when she did this, this symbolized something. First of all, we understand that she was a sinner. So she was already in the state, amen, where everybody was looking at her in a bad way. She was already in the state where everybody was talking about her. She didn't have any business being in the midst of the people that she was in. You know what I'm saying? And you know how it is when you go in the midst of folks and folks know how to make you feel uncomfortable? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, amen. Yeah. And one of the things that I love, amen, is that tonight, even as we're in the midst of one another, I'm looking at all these young people, and it has been my prayer that even when we were getting ready to come here tonight, I said to the Lord, I said, God, I just want your people to be able to receive the word yes. and be able to get on fire for God like we need to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying?
same way. We try to come to God from behind. Instead of going boldly to the throne of grace like the Bible tells us. So that we can find grace to help in the time of need. Amen. Amen. And so here she is coming to Jesus from behind. And as she's coming to him, amen, she is. his feet with her hair. Now one of the things that you have to understand is that first of all her hair being down was a symbol to them that she was a loose woman. It was a shame for her to let her hair down. Her letting her hair down was a sign to everybody else around her that I don't care what y'all think about me. I don't care what you say. I don't care about what you whispered about. I don't care about what everybody else thinks. Guess what? There's something that I need and I'm not paying none of y'all no mind because I'm going to go get
relationship with Christ. Why is it? You know what I'm saying? That there's something wrong with us, you know, that when we get to this place where we understand that God wants it all, we sang the song, He wants it all. Come on, amen. But are we willing to really give Him all? Do we understand what really all entails? Or do we want to give God some and hold back a little bit? Come on, amen. So we have to get to this place, amen, that we abandon everything and we become holy fools for Jesus. Come on now. All right. Holy fools. Come on, amen. Where people can look at us and shake their head, but they already know, don't mess with them. Come on.
2 Corinthians chapter 11. And I want to start at the 23rd verse. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors, more abundant. In stripes, above measure. In prisons, more frequent. In deaths, oft. Of the Jews, five times received, I forty stripes, save one. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. Hold up, are we ready for this? Come on. Are, are we ready for this? Come on. Are we ready for, for, for real, for real, to live for Jesus if, it's, if it means that you have to deal with this?
deaths often. You don't know how many times I felt like, mm mm, this ain't worth it. Come on now. Because y'all foolish folks chasing after these other crazy people, and I'm pouring my life out. This is the hour of the dangerous man. Yeah. 
needs to have a man. We don't, we don't want to look at people and see their worth in the kingdom of God. Something's wrong with us. Because, child, I'm jealous you're going to get above me, so I thought,
can be delivered.